Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Anakin. I design knitting patterns. I teach knitting workshops online and in person and I sell yarn through my website yarnaddict.co.uk. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please consider subscribing. So this morning I picked up this piece. I have one round to knit on it before I can cast off. It's a little bit, it's a little swatch, a lacy swatch knitted from the center out and as I picked it up this morning to start knitting on it I noticed down here, I don't know how easy it is to see it, but just here there is a stitch where I've only caught one or two of the strands. Um, yarns are normally made up of several plies. Each ply is one of the little tiny strands and I've just caught one of them here. And obviously I'm worried that when I block this, that's going to break. The problem is this is not just stocking stitch, this is... Um, lace knitting and I have decreases so there's a double decrease there and then there's a single decrease there so let me show you how I'm going to fix this if it was just stocking stitch I could just drop that one stitch down and then pick it back up again but it's not quite so easy with um, when decreases are involved okay so the first thing I need to do is this first stitch on my needle goes down to that double decrease there so I need to and pick that. So that is where that decrease is. So I'm going to unpick that one. It's a SK2PO, so slip on the two together past slip stitch over. So I'm taking this, that's the slip stitch I've just undone, and that's the knit two together. So we'll unpick that one. Now you can use a spare needle for this, like a spare double pointed needle, but I'm just using the circular needles I'm knitting on. Okay, so those two stitches I can leave because they are fine. Then I undo that stitch one more row. And then that's a decrease. So that one stitch is going to turn into two stitches. And that is the stitch. That first, sti that first stitch is okay. That second stitch there is where the problem is. So that is the one where I've just caught one strand. Okay. And that was a knit two together as well. So those are the two stitches that I have to knit again as a knit two together. It may be easy if you use a like a spare double pointed needle or something to hold the two stitches that you're going to be knitting. But that so once you've identified, once you've unpicked it all, you don't have to knit it all up again. The first thing I'm going to do is a knit two together. And you also need to look at the back of your knitting and identify which strand you're going to knit with. And I can tell it's that one because there's a little bit that's pulled out from that strand where I just caught it, um, you know, which caused the original problem. So it doesn't matter if you knit English or continental style, but if you knit English style, you obviously can't throw the yarn. So you have to just have it hanging loose and then pick it up carefully. Now the next row is a plain knit row. So I'm going to, so that's the next strand. Okay, now you have to keep an eye and make sure you're not twisting stitches and that kind of thing. So now I have four of those stitches on my needle again. So I know that on the next row, is there one more knit two together? No, I think that's the SK2PO. Let me just... Now I think it's... I think there's another knit two together. Yes, there is another knit two together. So I have those stitches, which those strands, sorry, which come from when I pick these stitches. Then I have two more strands here, which belong to these two stitches on my left hand needle. So I'm going to knit two together with these two stitches like that. And then I have to knit one and that's that strand there. Because every other round is just a plain knit round. Then I have these three stitches left. And I know that that's my um, slip on knit two together past slip stitch over. So slip on knit twice. Knit two together. Um, and I have three strands here. So it's the bottom one of those three strands. So that's my knit two together. And then we pass the slip stitch over. And then 
it's just a net and a net and we are done okay let me just knit a few stitches now sometimes where you've unpicked because you've been pulling on the strands and things are sometimes it can be a little bit loose but usually especially with lace knitting once you've blocked it it's okay so i'm just going to pull this out like that so where was it here this is the section that i unpicked doesn't look quite so the equivalent section on the previous section is here so that's what it would have looked like if i hadn't unpicked it and this is the section that i unpicked so i think it looks pretty similar a little bit loose here you can see those strands are pulled a little bit tighter i think um that's just from when i pulled the yarn when i was knitting it back up and i think once i block this that will even out and it'll be fine there we go it is a bit scary when you have to do these things you could of course just unpick i don't have that many stitches on the needle and i could just unpick um how many rounds was there one two three four five six six rounds or something i could have unpicked that quite easily um but i'm on a deadline and i didn't want to so that's how i fixed it anyway i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions ask below this video if you want to know more about fixing mistakes i will link a couple of other videos below and at the end of this video and you can also check out my successful lace knitting online course where there's um everything you want to know about lace knitting right from complete lace knitting beginner to more experienced lace knitting techniques so wherever you are in your lace knitting journey unless you're already an expert um i would say you can learn something from that online course it has a it's a really huge big course loads and loads of uh, video lessons um and I do have several lessons there on how to fix mistakes and where I show you in practice how to fix various types of mistakes in lace knitting. So I will link that below as well. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.